lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today we're going to look at the new Cricut Joy app. So this is a new app specifically for Cricut Joy. Don't panic, you can still use Joy on your computer and your normal design space app. This is just a new app that has been created for Joy to make it easy and quick to create projects. The point of this app is that you can create an entire project in under 15 minutes. It is currently only available on iOS, so if you're an Android user, you will not be able to download the new Joy app. They are looking at making it, they are looking at making it Android compatible as soon as possible, but for the time being, it's only available on iOS. If you are a Apple user, you'll need to go into the Apple Store and you can then download the Cricut Joy app and you'll log in using your normal Design Space login. The great thing about this is that for the time being, it's a completely free app. So it's free to download as is the normal Design Space, but everything in it from the images to the fonts for the time being are free. There are a number of different areas you can go into. So there is quick labels, iron-on and infusible ink transfers, vinyl stickers and decals, paper craft. And we're going to look at each of these areas. So let's start with quick labels. Create your own custom labels in just a few steps. So we can select start. You get a supplies list and also there's a smart labels tips area and also a video on using Joy cutting mats. Select start making. There are several label styles to choose from. So there's minimal cutout, decorative cutout, drawn and letter only cut. Let's select a drawn. So let's select this one here and choose next. Now you can set the dimensions of your sticker so you can change the height. Let's change it to, I don't know, let's do two inches. And because it's a preset sticker shape, it will keep everything in proportion. Once you're happy with the size, you can select done. You can also enter your text and you can create more than one label at a time. So let's do our first one and we will write cat treats and add that we will do cat food and add that and then we will do a uh, cat oh what else does he have toys let's do cat toys and add that one and then we can select done we can then go to next and you'll see I've got my three labels there ready to go but I can change them if I want to so if we go to edit You'll see it comes up with our sample piece. We can change the font first of all. So let's select the A and that will give us a few different font styles to play with. So there's different font styles available and you can select them to see a sample and it will size it correctly with the font to the writing you have chosen. So when we go back in a second, depending on what font we have chosen will depend on the size of our writing because it will make sure that it's all in proportion with the size of the sticker that we have created. There's also writing fonts as you can see there. So let's go with this one and we'll just click that little tick. And then if we want to, because we are drawing, we can change the color and it'll come up with fine, extra fine, gels, glitter gels, and medium uh, point tips as well. Obviously bear in mind that the gels and the glitter gels do not work on the writable smart vinyl. We're just gonna choose fine and we're going to choose, let's go with a brownie color. And then once we're happy, again, we can hit that tick and then select done. And it will then show us our sticker in the writing we've chosen, in the font that we've chosen, with of course the color pen that we've chosen. Once we're happy, we can go to next. Because we have chosen quick labels, if we go to materials, we've only got a few of the labels available. So we've got smart label writable paper, smart label writable vinyl, deluxe paper, deluxe paper, adhesive backed and medium cardstock. 
we'll just choose Smart Label Writable Vinyl. Because we've chosen a smart material, if we go to Material Load, we can select whether to use it without a mat or with a mat. We're going to keep it without a mat. We don't need to mirror, the material size is done for us. It's given us our project overview. We can also select a preview. So that's what it'll look like when we add it into our Joy. You can then select make it and of course Joy will then do exactly as you've told it. Really quick and easy to make stickers. So next let's look at iron-on and infusible ink transfers. So if you want to use infusible ink in the new Joy app, it does need to be the transfer sheets. We can go to design your own. Again, you get a supplies list and you also get smart iron-on tips and how to use the Joy cutting mats. We are going to select start designing. You can choose landscape, portrait or square for your canvas. We're going to do landscape this time and I'm going to keep the height and the width as they are but of course if I want to I can simply go in and change them. Once you're happy you can select next. We can then add images, shapes or text. So let's go to images. There are over 50,000 images on this new app and for the time being as I say they are all completely free so there are featured images and there are recently added but you can also search so let's search for space and you can scroll through and find the images that you want now the whole point of this app is that you're not doing a huge amount of designing you are coming in you are creating a quick project nice and easy to do and then you're sending it to Joy. So this is not like normal design space where you can slice things and completely create new images. You're going to be working with the images and the fonts that are available in this app. You cannot add images and you cannot add fonts to this app. So the whole point is that it's really quick and easy to work with. And if you want to do something more detailed, then you can go in to the usual Design Space app and create something more detailed in there. Let's just select this one. And of course I can rotate it. And if I rotate it, I can also flip it horizontally and vertically. And I can also use my little uh, I don't know what this is called, slidey thing to rotate as well. If I want to add a text, I can go to text. I can write my text. Let's just do space cadet. I can move it anywhere on my canvas. And again, I can change the font. So you've got lots of different fonts available and you can also change the style if you want to. And on top of that, you can change the alignment. So if you are working with a double line text, you can obviously arrange to have it left, center or right. So you've got lots of options with the font as well. Let's change it to, let's do quite a funky one. I don't know, maybe that one. And once we're happy, we can select our tick. And of course, we can make it smaller and bigger as well. So the great thing about the Joy app is that on this canvas, everything will stay as you have placed it. So make sure it's all as exactly as you want, because when you go to cut it, it will look exactly like this. You can only do single layers with cutting. So you cannot create multiple cut layers in this app if you want to do that you need to go in and create them all separately you can't do them on the same canvas so if we change one color it will change everything on that canvas for us so you cannot do multi-layered in different colors unless you're being clever about it once you're happy you can go to done as you can see, it keeps it exactly as we want. If we want to edit, at this point we can. And so, say for example, I actually wanted my text up here and my image down here, and maybe I want my image to the side there slightly. Again, I can go to Done, and it will keep it exactly as I have created it. We can then go to Next. We're in the iron-on and the infusible ink area of the app. If we go to Materials, 
you'll see that we have these materials available. So we have infusible ink transfer sheets, and then we have different iron-ons and of course smart iron-ons because we are in the Joy app. We're going to choose smart iron-on glitter. Because we've chosen a smart material, we've got the choice with the material load to have with a mat or without a mat. This time we're going to choose on a mat. And you'll see our mat then comes up. It's already mirrored for us because it knows that we're working with iron-on and infusible ink. So we don't need to worry about mirroring because this app does it for us. We can select preview. And of course, because we are working in landscape, I think we chose, it's obviously turned it around for us so it fits into Joy, but it's kept exactly as I have designed it. If we close that down, we can then go to make it and of course we'll then load joy with our smart iron on and it will cut for us. So next we're going to look at vinyl stickers and decals and we're going to create a vinyl cutout and then we're going to create a drawn cutout sticker as well. So select design your own. Again you get supplies list and you get those tips as well start designing you can select landscape portrait or square we're going to select portrait and we'll keep the dimensions as they are so we're going to do a vinyl cut first we can select our image and this time we're going to go into featured images and let's just select that feather of course we can make it as big or as small as we like depending on our canvas and we can rotate it as well if we want to and of course I can flip if I want to add a text I can go to my add button and then select a text let's just put I don't know we'll be really basic and put feathers I'm going to keep this as a cut for now because we're pretending that we are cutting vinyl. So again, if I select my fonts, I can go through and change my font. And with some of them, I can also change the style as well. Because I am cutting in vinyl, if I change one color, I will change the other. So I can only create a layer of color per canvas. If we then go to done and then next, I can select my material and I've got my different vinyls there. So let's select smart vinyl shimmer because it's a smart material. I can choose to load without a mat or with a mat. We're going to keep without a mat. It will tell me what my project requires and I can also select that preview and then I can go and cut out my vinyl. Let's say I want to change my design. Rather than going through it all again, if I just go back to design, I can then change what I'm going to create. This time we are going to create a sticker. So I'm going to go into my image and let's just go to we can select, let's say, the cat, and that's going to bring it in as a cut. But I actually want to see them as drawn. So once I've brought that cut onto my canvas, if I actually go back into the image, I've then got a choice to choose whether to have them as cut or as drawn. So if I select them as drawn, they all turn into drawn images. And you can do that with any of the images that are drawing compatible. I really like the Be Kind one as a drawn image. So let's select that and bring it in. And of course we can get rid of that cut if we want to. I want to make that a color. So let's change it to a, let's do a glitter and we'll do a pink. And then I want to add some text as well. So if I go to add and I get my text and let's write, well, it's already got be kind. So let's put show love. 
So I can change it to a draw and I can change the font and if I want a writing font I can and if I can't see I just scroll like that. See that's really cute so we'll keep it as that. Now again because these are all on one canvas I can have I can only have the one colour so if I try to change that it is going to change my text as well. If I want to add a shape so I want to cut out as a sticker let's get a circle and I can create my circle. If we're happy we can go to done and next we can select our material so we'll do smart label writable vinyl. We're going to load without a mat and if we go to the preview we'll see that it's going to draw our image and our text but it's going to cut out our circle. So next we're going to look at the paper craft area. So again, design your own. It will give you a list of supplies and we can start designing. Again, landscape, portrait or square. Let's choose portrait. So if I just wanted to cut an image out of cardstock, I can simply go to my featured images or search for an image. Select an image, let's go for the seal. And I can simply make that the size I want, go to done, next, choose my material and let's say we were using a deluxe paper foil embossed, it's selected material load on matte and we can't change that because it's not a smart material, go to preview and it will then cut out that seal, for example, in our cardstock. And of course, if we wanted it in vinyl or iron-on, we would go and create this in the vinyl and iron-on sections. So let's say I wanted to create a cutout in here with text and drawing. So let's grab a shape. Let's just get that shape. We can then go to image and let's search for seal as it's there. Let's go with that cute little fella. We're going to change him from a cut to a draw and of course we can change the size and the rotation if we want to. And again I can flip him vertically and horizontally if I want to. If I then want to add some text I can go and add my text. I can change that from a cut to a draw. I can change my font and let's do a writing font. And again, if I can't quite see what I'm doing, I can just move my canvas up so that I can see everything that's going on. I can change the alignment so it's currently set to center, but if I wanted to do left or right, I could. If I change the colour on my text, it will also change the colour on my image as well. I can then go to done and next. I can change it to a medium cardstock if I want. Go to preview and so it will draw my image and my text and it will cut out my shape in my cardstock. This app is great for joy. It's not going to be for everyone. Those of us that like designing and like to change images and add images and upload images and fonts and work with projects, this app probably is not going to be something that I use all the time. But it's not really aimed at me, to be fair. It's aimed at people that want to create really quickly using Joy. So it's on the go makes. It's for if you're at a show and you're doing lots of different personalized items, this app is going to make it really quick and easy for you. And of course for me as well, if I just want to go in and do just do a quick make, I can use this app for Joy. I can still use my normal design space as well though. If you save a project in this app, it is not available in the other Design Space app, so it is this app specific. As I said at the start, this is currently 
free so it's free to download but also everything in it is free for the time being as well so it is definitely worth downloading if you're a joy owner uh, and if you're thinking about becoming a joy owner then obviously download this app as well as the other design space app because it will help you i think it will help for beginners as well so if you're just starting out with joy you've never used design space before this makes it nice and easy for you because the options are limited, which isn't a bad thing when you're first starting out. If you've got loads of options available to you, it can all become overwhelming. So this is great as a starter app with Joy, and it's also great if you just want to create really quick designs. I'm excited to explore it more. As I say, for me, I like being able to change a lot of things. So I can only see me using it occasionally, uh, but it's there to use. And as I say, it's not really aimed at me. So for those of you that it is aimed at, I think you're going to love this app. As always, thank you for joining me. I hope this has been helpful. Please do like the video and subscribe and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.